greetings and it's our joy and delight to be able to come your way today and spend a few moments in God's Word and in prayer with you. Thank you for giving us the opportunity. Remember that your faith pleases God. That when you make a deliberate choice to live by faith, you please the heart of God. God is pleased each time you step, take a step of faith. This week, we are talking about being full of new wine, of living a life filled with the Holy Spirit. Over the last several days, we've considered what it means to be full of new wine, to live filled with the Holy Spirit. And in the next few days, we want to try to understand what would be some of the outcomes of living like this, of living a life that is totally yielded to the person of the Holy Spirit. When you and I make a deliberate choice in every situation, Holy Spirit come and take over. Holy Spirit, you dominate me. You dominate my emotions. You dominate my thinking. You dominate my actions and my reactions. You dominate, you, you come and influence me, you guide me through this. So when you and I make that deliberate choice, moment by moment of living in subjection, living yielded to a person of the Holy Spirit, what would be some of the outcomes? We read about this in Galatians chapter 5 and also in Ephesians chapter 5. We're going to highlight a few things. In Galatians chapter 5, the Apostle Paul makes it clear that if we are full of new wine, if we live filled with the Spirit, we will overcome our flesh. So he says in Galatians 5 verse 16, he says, Walk in the Spirit, and you will not fulfill the lusts or the lust of the flesh. And he goes on to describe, you know, the, the, the wrong things that come when a person is yielded to the flesh. He talks about envy and jealousy and strife and anger and all those wrong things that come because of a person yielded to the flesh. But he says, you know, as believers, we don't live like that. As believers, we are walking in the Spirit. And if we are walking in the Spirit, the lusts of the flesh are terminated. They are put to death. They are brought to an end. That means the sinful, evil desires of our body and of our soul, that is our mind of emotions and all, they come to an end when we live a life full of new wine, when we live a life filled with the Spirit. So we cannot say, I am filled with the Spirit and then display the works of the flesh. They don't go together. That is not a spiritual life. But a person who is filled with the Spirit brings the works of the flesh to an end. And that's a beautiful outcome. These things that Paul mentions here as works of the flesh are adultery and fornication and uncleanness and hatred and jealousy and outbursts of anger and selfish ambition and strife and all those things, he says, they are eliminated from a person who's walking in the Spirit. And that's what will happen in, our, in us, to us, as we live full of new wine, yielded to the Holy Spirit. Let's pray. Now, Father, we choose to live full of new wine, live filled with the Spirit. And we understand that the works of the flesh will cease, that our flesh will be crucified with its sinful affections and ungodly desires as we yield to the person and the presence and the work of the Holy Spirit. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.